Lakers here too. <laughs> so are you in? Mm -hmm. So hi, it's Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things. We are at the Prohibition Speakeasy September 2nd, 2018. And they've seen tons of movies. They were here all week. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and it's a nautical thing too. And they're going to open up new acquisitions. What I do is I do it like a 40 second street shell game, which I actually was born and raised to remember. So I'm gonna mix these up like a 40 second street shell game. This is my absolutely terrible mixing. Are you confused? Yeah. Good, because otherwise I'd have to do this all day. Okay, so pick a package, any package. There you go. And then I pick a package, any package. Excellent. Let me get you some scissors so that you guys can start while the other people are picking packages. So there you go. Try not to cut the actual empty. Uh, and that's my mixing. There you go. And that's my mixing. There you go. Excellent. And then let me give you guys scissors. Do you like these like, ridiculous safety scissors? <laughs> Dollar store scissors, you gotta love them. Do you hear the Mission Impossible theme in the background? <laughs> I know I'm gonna be like sued for fraught crime. <laughs> I love these dog yeah, stores, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You actually hurt yourself on the other side of the scissors. That's the idea. They didn't know that somebody would do that. <laughs> this is perfect for the nautical one, and uh, Jerry, you're going to be very happy with this one because you mentioned it. This is the um, the Eastern, the Great Eastern. This is the ship that carried the transatlantic cable from America to England. So there was an actual cable in eight. Well, this is from this is. Oh no, is this the Eastern? Oh no, that's a later ship. Okay, that's the 1950s. I know I have one here with the Eastern in it. Yeah, this one is from the 1950s, but it is doing a transatlantic cable. So this is a later cable. We ran cable. We ran tons of cable from America to England. So this was a later version of that cable. And you can actually, with this one, you can actually see the cable perfectly, and you see the people working on the cable. This is a wire photo, which is, which is actually a fax. So you think you're looking at a picture, you're not. This is how good faxes were that long ago. Yeah, believe it or not, that's how good faxes were. The faxes they sold us were junk. Mm -hmm. So let me put that there. And that's Ida here. Uh, so who's next? You've got also a wire photo. And this is also uh, the, one of the, um, one of the uh, transatlantic cable ships. Also from that era. I think it might even be the same ship. I think it was called the Monarch, uh, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to pass this one around so you guys get it. Because I really want you to see the transatlantic cable. So I'm going to pass this one around. Look at it carefully. This is a wire photo. On the back, you'll notice this is the text that was printed in the newspaper. So they would fax this to, let's say, the Chicago paper. And then they would have to do that text. Okay, you opened up a book and it can only be a good book. It is. Uh, Nostrums and Quackery. This is <laughs> such a cool book. This is quack medicine. Because clearly this child has a fever and could, oh yeah, you're hot, you're burning up. You need to read this book and use some of this ridiculous quack medicine, which God knows <laughs> what they would make you do. But I'll, I'll let you try to figure, oh my God, even the remedies look crazy. <laughs> can, I, can I see? Yes. Uh, Try to get, oh, um, first, what's your name? Alex. Alex opened up the uh, the transatlantic cable thing. And then what's your name? Alan. What? Alan. Alan. So he no, opened, no, oh, no, you're not nautical Alan. and he's got a... Uh, no, not Alan, it's A-L-O-N. Ah, okay. But I'll never pronounce it right, so I'll just let you pronounce it. <laughs> and his dad is right here in the office. Actually, I don't even know how to pronounce it right. It took me forever to learn how to spell my name, Daniel. No, 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 no I know how to spell it, I just... But it's up there with trying to pronounce it, yeah. No, it's hard for me to pronounce. Oh, it's, yeah, it's hard for me also, so you're in the same boat as me. I can pronounce my name, I still almost can't spell it, I have to think about it every single time. The way you spell Daniel and remember it is Dan E-L, I-E-L. Uh, uh, Dan, laws, E-L, it's like laws of God, uh, so L is Elohim, and that's how you remember. Oh my God, finally somebody opened this. Holy moly, this is like the holy grail for me. This is, okay, so you've heard of PowerPoint presentations, right? Mm -hmm. Great, PowerPoint did not invent it. They started as magic lanterns pre presentations. They go back hundreds of years. 
Uh, magic lanterns are these little lanterns that use oil lamps and glass slides. And they would often paint pictures on the glass slides. Uh, people thought they were magical back hundreds of years ago. Uh, I found out that this was actually a storytelling device and they would actually have magic lantern PowerPoint presentations, but it was magic lantern presentations. Thomas Edison himself had catalogs like this that had magic lantern presentations. This is an actual catalog of magic lantern presentations. I can't even believe I'm touching this. I've wanted to touch one of these for like 10 years. How many presentations wow. are in that catalog? Uh, a lot. It's page after page, line by line. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fine print. Yeah. That's Multiple insane. columns. Yeah. That's oh, that's they, <laughs> this is like... That's a real catalog. Yeah, that's a real catalog of Magic Lantern presentations. So when you go to the antique shop and you see a glass slide, that's often photography. But if it's not photography, it's probably Magic Lantern slides. What's interesting is this one. This is a Magic Lantern slide catalog. What's that say on the bottom there? Uh, Secret Society. Secret Society. How cool is that? <laughs> That's like the Holy Grail. I couldn't even believe the guy had this. I was like, you're kidding. This should have gone for my rent. <laughs> like, I paid nothing for them. But uh, these are Secret Society ones. This is, um, these looks like they're stereo ones. And these ones are historical. So they, it's just like going to Blockbuster Video and picking up a VHS tape. Or going to, you know, or PowerPoint producing slides on different themes. Uh, you open this one? Yeah. What's your name? Ben. Ben. This is going to be like one of the most important pieces in the whole museum. Wow. We're going to debut a magic lantern show here. I'm going to fire up with an oil lamp a magic lantern and I'm going to read from this book. <laughs> and these are my these are my first ever, so uh, Ben you actually pretty much made history today. And give all of them a hand actually. And we're going to play the next film, which I have no clue what it is, but I'll string it up. And you guys can mingle. I'll play a song until then. You're, you're, ben, where did this come out?